Hello friends, I am Saurav. Let's have a look at another simple problem today which is how to check if a number can be expressed as x raised to power y. We have already discussed another solution to this problem. It is recommended to check it out first. The link to the problem is given in the description. So the problem statement is given a positive integer, find if it can be expressed by integers x and y as x raised to y where y is greater than 1 and s is greater than 0. Let's take some examples to understand the problem. Consider the number 125. Since 125 can be expressed as x raised to y where x is 5 and y is 3, so we return true. Now consider the number 120. Since 120 cannot be expressed as x raised to y for any integers x greater than 0 and y greater than 1, so we return false. Now let's have a look at the algorithm for solving this problem. These steps will be explained in detail with an example in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. For the given number a, we have to find integers x and y such that a is equal to x raised to y. Let's take log on both sides. So we get log a is equal to log of x raised to y which is same as log a equal to y multiplied by log x which can also be written as y equal to log a by log x. Hence we have to find an integer x for which RHS gives an integer y. So the algorithm is starting with i equal to 2 if log a by log i is an integer, then return true. Else increment i by 1 till i is less than square root of a. If no such i is found, return false. Why are we looking at the factors of number only up to square root of number? Let us try to understand this. We want to find integers x and y, y greater than 1, such that x raised to y equal to given number a. That is for any x, if x square equal to a, or x cube equal to a, or x raised to y equal to a for some integer y return true. Can we have upper limit on value of x from above condition? Let's find out. Now we know that square root of a multiplied by its square root of a is a. Then for any number x greater than square root of a, x square will always be greater than a. Now as x square is greater than a, x cube will be greater than a. Similarly x raised to 4 will be greater than a that is any other power of x will also be greater than a. So the upper limit on value of x is square root of a. Let us understand and visualize the algorithm through some examples. Consider the given number as 100. We have to iterate for i equal to 2 to square root of number which is square root of 100 and if log 100 by log i comes out to be an integer we have to return true. We can see calculations for all the iterations here. For i equal to 10 we get log 100 by log 10 as 2 which is an integer hence return true. Let's take another example consider the given number as 625. We have to iterate for i equal to 2 to square root of number which is square root of 625 and if log of 625 by log i comes out to be an integer we have to return true. We can see calculations for all the iterations here. For i equal to 5 we get log 625 by log 5 as 4 which is an integer hence return true. Have you checked our iDeserve web portal at www.ideserve.co.in? We are uploading new topics every day. Please check it out and leave us your feedback. Please let us know your valuable suggestion on current topic. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our iDeserve channel. Like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you.